Hello, here with you with senior coach Marty Matner to talk about Sturt footy from the weekend. Just starting with the reserves against South on Saturday here at Wigan Oval. Uh, the Twos boys had a really good win, finishing uh, winners 13 goals 9 to 6 goals 7 in the end. Um, really good to see some plenty of team first efforts for the boys, which has been a focus over the last couple of weeks. Um, one of the good stats, the defenders were excellent and, and pressure throughout the um, ground. So our defensive efficiency was at 13%. Uh, from 41 inside 50 South had, we only allowed 13 score shots. So really impressive from, uh, from all players there. Uh, we had George McLeod, who's come over from Tasmania. He played his first game and, and he was really good off halfback. Um, we had Chad Reschke, who's still only 17 years old, kick six goals and he's well on top in the uh, leaderboard in the goal kicking. And Gia Cometti also kicked a bag of three from half forward, which is excellent. Um, best players on the day. First best we gave to Chad Reschke in his forward role. Zach Becker down back was excellent with plenty of intercept marks. He was also the trademark player of the day. Ned Walter down back, uh, Charlie Molan through the middle and Luke Giacometti off his half forward as well. So excellent effort for the boys. Um, Marty, can you tell us about the league game against the Crows on the weekend? Yeah, so uh, a really close game all day. Um, boys really uh, fought hard, I guess, in the first half to stay close to the Crows. Um, and then the second half, I thought we started to defend a little bit better and we restricted um, the Crows just one goal in the second half, which was really pleasing. We were able to kick three and get the win in the end by 10 points. So final score 10-6-66 to the Crows 8-8-56. So 10 point win which is great. Um, keeps us on top of the top of the ladder um, and just keeps that momentum going in terms of, you know, it was a tough game but we got away with a win late in the game. So uh, goal kickers, Burrows and Hone 3, Doyle and Wrench 2. Um, Charlie, Pl- Charlie Fry played his uh, Played his first game and debuted, which was great to see, um, and he had a really good game as well. Um, trademark player was Amos Doyle, who competed well in the ruck early on uh, against Strawn, who's an AFL-listed player, but I thought once Strawn came off injured, I thought Amos really uh, started to showcase where he's at with his footy, and that was to really dominate that ruck contest, and um, and he, he had a really impactful second half, which was really pleasing to see. So uh, best players, Will Coombless um, was really good again down back. Um, both from, a, I guess, a defending point of view, but also just composure and just set us up and just, yeah, played a really good game. Um, Amos Doyle got second best. As I said, he was really dominant in the second half in the ruck and, and really, you know, was able to get us across the line, I think, in terms of his um, his competitiveness in the aerial contest around the ground, which was great. Uh, Luke Edmonds um, was really good down back. Um, hardly got beaten all day in his one-on-ones and, uh, again, just does his role and plays and beats his opponent every week. So he was really good, Luke. Tommy Lewis, again, with his tackle and pressure in the midfield and his clearance work. Um, and Charlie Fryer for playing his role, um, coming in on his debut and playing his role, which was really pleasing to see a young player come in and, um, and have a real impact on the game, which was a positive one. So, yeah, good win. Um, boys get the weekend off this week um, with a few players in line to play state footy, um, which we'll have a chat about in a, in a second, but really, really good spot to be at um, round six. Uh, six and zero and sitting top of the ladder. Thanks, Marty. Uh, yes, so as Marty said, uh, no game for the men and the boys this weekend. The women do have a cutthroat uh, final round match against Glenelg. Uh, the winner goes will play finals from that. That's on Saturday here at Wigan Oval. Um, the state under-20s will play the state under-18s at Thebiton Oval on, on Friday night. Uh, in line for selection for that game in the under-20s, we've got Hugo Kittle, Nick Sadler, Charlie Fryer, Zach Becker and Chad Reskey. And in the under-18s, Alex Holt, Lucas Lade, Locke Rawlinson and Declan Gladigal as well. So um, thank you very much and uh, looking forward to seeing you at the footy soon.